Hello everyone and welcome. This video is about a day trip we took from Riyadh to Natural Arch near Harik. But first we stopped in a sunflower farm near Al Kharj Road. This farm had so many varieties of sunflowers. Some were very small, smiling happily at the sun, while others were so huge that they can't face the sun. There was a cozy tree house in front of their office with some sitting area underneath. We had brought our own food and had food over there. Kids loved the tree house. They had so much fun there. The farm also had a pond like built to grow fish. They also had few rabbits, donkey and other animals enough to keep the kids very happy. And big toys like these tractors they were over the moon. It was like the kids got a little bit of our childhood for a day climbing trees playing in the dirt 
running around with their cousins. In the back, they had a huge agricultural area. A lot of, I guess, watermelon or pumpkin or some other goat-like veggies were already harvested. The season gets over by January and we were a little bit late. There were more sunflower plants here, which was perfect for photo shoot. All of us had a lot of fun taking a lot of pictures and videos here. There were cabbages, broccolis, etc. We could take the veggies from here and pay at the office. Also, there were many greenhouses. Most of them were made ready for the next season as the current season was already over. We bought some fresh vegetables. We can choose them and their staff is ready to help and cut it for us. The staff would know the right ones to pick for us. We couldn't differentiate between the right ones and the over matured ones.
By afternoon, we had reached Harik. The natural arch is around half an hour drive from Harik town and around 5 km off road too, although there is no need for a 4x4. Can you see it here far away in the corner of the mountain, shaped like an arch, looked so tiny from down. We parked the car and started to go up. It's not an adventurous trail at all and if you are a fit and not with lots of kids, of course you can reach in a couple of minutes. But we took double the time, we took around half an hour to reach the top. Initially there is a path cut out and as you start moving up, the path becomes narrow and slippery. And you will have to climb with your forelimbs. We do not recommend going up with kids. It can be quite challenging to manage the kids if they are running around and all. Once we reached the top, it was such a great feeling for all of us as we were all overthinking how to climb up and how to manage kids you know we were not going to make it up we might leave it halfway through but overcoming all that we reached the top and we were so happy that we did it it's a great place for camping and stargazing make sure to carry plenty of food and water as there are absolutely nothing nearby We wanted to get down before it gets dark. Soon after the sunset, we started coming down. And it was even more scary for us. But we had the perfect strategy to sit and crawl down. Though our pants got dirty, we reached down safely. And that's all for today's video. Until the next time, stay safe, take care and bye bye.